We've been talking taboo topics all hour, and we're about to ignite the bidet debate. And here to referee is home and lifestyle expert, Catherine Emery. I'm so happy to be here. I mean, what better topic to bidet or not bidet? <laughs> well, you took the words right out of my mouth, Dr. Ish. Yes. To bidet or not to bidet? <laughs> that is the question. Indeed, sir, it is. <laughs> Indeed, sir, it is. So run us through this. Simply put, a bidet just helps you get a cleaner bum. It's a more hygienic way to clean. I'll be honest, I have more bidets in my house than family members. Uh, because, you know, we all spend a lot of time in the bathroom. You might as well enjoy it. But all kidding aside, bidets are really a more hygienic and a gentler way to clean than toilet paper that just smears the messes around. <sighs> if you step a dog poo outside, what's going to clean more efficiently, water or paper? Okay, think about that. So here is how a bidet works. You sold so me right there. Sold. That's it. I mean, <laughs> it's, lo it's Great common point. sense. Yeah, no, sold. So here's how it works. So it, it, it bidet sprays a small stream of water. Now keep in mind, this is the same water from all your faucets around your house, so it's safe. And it's going to effectively rinse all of your parts, so you're going to be so much more hygienic. One other bonus that I really love is all of this waste that goes into the ocean every year. So it's, a much, it's much better for the environment. And if people really embrace the bidets, do you think we would have had the great toilet paper shortage of 2020? Just think about that one, too. <laughs> right. Well, you know, there's no hard scientific or medical data that, you know, it's any better that it pre prevents disease or any kind of health problems. But it sure does feel good. I remember my first bidet, I think, was, well, it was in Europe for sure. And Dr. Ish, I know you, mm -hmm. you've spent a lot of time in yeah. Europe. And yeah. you yeah. sort of get used to that. You, you, you do, you know. And I, I'm also a car guy. And so I think of this... Like, if I'm taking my car, Dr. Owen, they can wash the undercarriage, I always let them go for it, right? It just, it just seems like a good idea. It's an option you're going to go for. Well, I recently redid some bathrooms in my house in L.A., and, you know, to, to keep up with the times, you sort of need those smart toilets. I went for it, and uh, let me put it this way. It's a good way to start and end the day. Exactly. <laughs> but, exactly. Catherine, Catherine, listen, I've got to say it. I've got a concern, okay? So... If my friends come over to the house and we're, you know, we're having a dinner party and they see every bathroom's got a bidet, how do they not think I'm trying to be a little bad and bougie? Are they expensive? I mean, you, you deserve to be a little bougie, just saying. <laughs> so, you know, you know, but really, Dr. Ish, you can't spend thousands of dollars on these higher-end bidets. I mean, and they have all the bells and whistles you could possibly want. Temperature... Um, for the water that gets sprayed out, the heated seat, the slow closed lid, the night light. But for under $50, you can just get a seat attachment that goes right underneath your existing seat and, and it, you get all of the features that way. And then for around $150, you can just install a seat itself also with the same features. And I love that you don't have to run electricity so anyone can try it. Now, when you do go to, and yeah, you get that posture and feminine wash with this as well. So if you do go to get the seat though, just keep in mind, you want to measure your toilet because some are round or some are oblong. So you want to get the right size. But for under 50 bucks, Try it out. If you don't like it, don't use it, right? Right? Dr. Ish, I bet you already have one, but if you don't, I'll get you one. <laughs> Catherine, you on you, <laughs> Catherine, you've really given us the scoop on the trendy way to poop. Thank you so much. And, you, you. know, oh, word of warning. Pleasure. Word of warning with these bidets, especially if you're buying these do-it-yourself installers, check the temperature and make sure the water is not too hot. Or too cold. That's right. And if you have hemorrhoids or fissures, make sure you check with your physician first. Thanks so much for sharing, Catherine. We'll be right back after the break. Coming up, our bodies are one whole.